Ladies and gentlemen, we are live in West Virginia, Morgantown. We're about to have the matchup between Ohio and BC. If you give me a little bit of time to get set up, we'll get the scoreboard up. I'm also in charge of time. There's gonna be a lot of things happening at once, so. Just be patient with me, we'll get we'll get everything set up. And we have begun. Nothing happened. It seemed like we got two, we got one person in VCU, as well as one person for West Virginia. We got out of that exchange. Ohio's looking to push up. Good block. All right, nothing happened for you. Keep up, keep up. Nothing too much happening right now. We're about to get this scoreboard set up momentarily. Oh, he missed the catch. Athletic move by RJ, but he just missed the catch. All right, and it has begun. There's currently 24 minutes left in this. Less than 24 minutes left in this point. Good job forcing the Rams on the back line. Forcing them to play defensively on the same game. job in this point that's far. And they really didn't have to stir up too much of their energy. Good hit by Lakota. Really solid hit by Lakota. Currently 22 minutes and 40 seconds left in this game. Oh man, Francisco's on that shame. BCU offense seem to be picking up a little bit. Oh, that's a good play. Wow. Oh, he didn't see it. Oh, that is a, oh, that is a missed team catch. BCU got to do a much better job being on the same page. Like BC is definitely still back in this game. That will not count, unfortunately. Good, good time for the BC. I seem like there's a timeout. All right, see you this time out on the play. Uh, there's currently 21 minutes and 17 seconds left um, in this game. Alright, we're back. 
back, ladies and gentlemen. Real back, and ready to go. Oh, that almost, that almost kicked him. DC seemed to be doing a lot better job at this point. Oh, hello. Not a bad, not a, not a bad idea. They just missed the opportunity. Not a bad idea. DC is finally back on the, on the attack line. Let's see what the Rams want to do. Not a bad throw. Not a bad throw. Forcing Ohio back on their attack. Long throw. This is. Oh, that got him. Good throw by Wayne, taking out number 24 of Ohio. He did. These two guys got to just knock down one more play. They should be, they should force them. They are in the tank count. Ohio's not on the tank count. Alright, this is BCU chance right here, ladies and gentlemen. Team throw. Oh, that got him. Executed perfectly. We'll play this up for Ohio. Oh, that got him! He was not paying attention. As a result, there's only three players left. Oh, that's a drop catch! That is a drop catch by Donald. Oh, that got him! That is a catch and that is an out. That is a catch and an out. Good play by B good play by Smart. Bring it back one of his teammates. He caught it by himself. Not a bad idea. Alright, Trey's pushing up. Trey sees something. Not a bad throw by Trey. Unfortunately, that would not count. It would not count, unfortunately. That's not a good throw. Ball's over against Ohio. That would give BCU all the balls. Because they have at least six, if not more than six, they will have a full 15. There's currently 18 minutes and 42 seconds left in this game. All right, here we go. DC is pushing up. They're talking about it. It seems like they're going for my man. There. And they got it. Not a bad throw. Not a bad throw at all. They miss him. Good team throw, but just couldn't get to a higher play. Alright, uh oh. They're waiting for him to throw. Let's see what's going to happen here. Oh, there's a drop catch! There's a drop catch! Still did not hit him. Both teams are now on a 10 count. Hello! Oh man, you gotta look for that catch. He's still safe. You can go either way, ladies and gentlemen. Garrett's looking for it. Not a bad throw by Garrett. Oh, that would not count. That is another bowls over against Ohio. The 
There's 17 minutes and 12 seconds left in this game. DCU has five, Ohio have two. Both team more than 10 counts. One more truth. They still did not hit him. 17 is doing a really good job surviving this, surviving this point. Long throw, misses. Lakota is pleading to the team to get the team throw set up. Still did not hit him. He is still safe. Oh, that got him. Four players left for BCU. That got him! Alex with the kill! There's one player left! Moment of truth! She's, she's out! She's out! VCU's up 1-0. Alright, so that was a really solid point for BCU. But Ohio played very well in that game. They had the advantage for the majority of the game. But then BCU was able to respond accordingly. Uh, we currently have about 16 minutes left in this point. And I'm expecting Ohio to definitely make um, definitely some transitions here and there. VCU just got to make sure they don't make any mental mistakes. I'm uh, looking for a higher to respond. Uh, you have 16 minutes. Okay, thank you. No problem. My name is Shadid Drakefor. I will be your commentator for today. Unfortunately, um, you will not be able to see me, but I am here. Um, I'm also acting as a timekeeper as well. We are a part of the NCAA, the National Police and Dodgeball Association. We have more than 30 teams across the United States playing dodgeball, 8.5. If you want to follow us on Facebook, uh, here's some information for that. And if you want to follow us on Twitter, here's some information for that as well. And it seems like I might need to do some adjustment uh, with the screen. And we have started this game. Nothing happens, nothing happens. Nothing happens. Everyone gets the ball and everyone is safe. Oh, good. All right, see my both teams going to trade. Smart's pushing up on the right hand side. The other captain's pushing up on the left hand side. Nothing happens. Nothing happens there. Everybody's safe. Everybody's safe. Ohio's pushing up to the attack line. Good block by RJ. RJ pushing up. Good reset throw. Very good reset throw by both teams thus far. Not a bad reset throw. And oh, that is a catch! And Wayne goes down with that exchange, but we're both at 11 for both teams. Uh-oh, he's by himself. Oh, he missed the catch! Down go number 99. That's 10 players for Ohio. PC was 11 players left. Oh, that is a drop catch! And it's back to 10. And yikes, that was a terrible, terrible throw. Oh, God, jeez! That was a gunshot. That was a gunshot by number six. Here we go. Just misses a tad bit high. Ohio has the early man of day. Oh, he was caught sleeping. I with the sneak kill. All right, and the intensity is building up now, ladies and gentlemen. Not a bad throw. 
Not a bad throw. He was not paying attention, and he knew it. His court vision needs to get better. He wants more playing time, ladies and gentlemen. Number six is looking to do some damage. Not a bad throw. Not paying attention. It's another kill for Ohio. And just like that, BCU is on a 10 count. Yep. That was some heat, some sauce on that one. Always good. Yeah, no worries. Yep, he's trying to take somebody out, and I don't blame him. Oh my! Take him with you, take him with you. They're looking. They're looking. Here it comes. Nothing. Jerry feels safe, but he better watch himself. That's a catch for Ike! Taking out their best player, number six. And just like that, VG is back on a 15 count. And that's why he is one of the top players on the East Coast, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, while he goes down. Respectfully, he takes himself out. Respectfully. Oh, down goes Alex. Oh, that is a great catch! That is a great catch by Trey. Let him reset. But is still on the take count. The Rams going to need to find a way to stay alive within this court. Ohio's looking to tie this game up. Oh, there's a catch! What a catch! What a catch by number 20. That almost hit him. Not bad. Oh, missed catch by Grace. Craig in the ball. Three players left for BCU. More than six for Ohio. Smart's looking to throw. Oh, he just hesitated at the last minute. Good reason. Good reset throw by Smart. Gary's looking to throw. Oh, man, here we go. Couple of throws for BCU. Here we go. Ohio's pushing up to the attack line. Well, questionable, questionable. They're looking for the opportunity. Gary's yeah, still alive. Still alive, everyone's still alive. Less than 11 minutes left in this game. Gary's yeah, looking for it, he's just waiting. He's just waiting patiently. He's waiting patiently. Oh man, yep, that clipped him. Two players left for BCU. Dakota's still in. Trey's still in. Two players left. Oh, I is definitely looking to take this point. Oh, man, he's tap dancing. Don't jinx us, buddy. He's still in. Hey, I'm a commentator. That's my job. Not to jinx people, just call it as it is. Anywho. Not a bad throw by Trey. He's still got to stay alive. He's looking to push. Dakota's still in. Still in. Yeah, still in. Still in. These two players doing a really good job bleeding the clock. Dakota's looking for the opportunity. He's looking for it. Not a bad throw. Not a bad throw. He still got two balls left. Trey still got two balls left. I was looking to do a team throw. Or not. Ball was just a tad too high. Trey is now defenseless. This could be a good opportunity. Uh-oh. Trey is still defenseless. Less than 10 minutes left in this game. Trey is looking for it. Not bad. Ball way too high. Trey is still in. Lakota is still in. These are two of BCU's best players when it comes to stalling. Not a bad reset throw. Trey looking for it. Oh, not a bad idea. Trey still looking for the catch. 
Trey giving his teammate the call a ball. Make sure they safe. Trey looking to reset. Not a bad reset throw. Here it comes. Oh, just a tad bit outside. But both players are still in. Omaha! And it's about eight minutes and 30 seconds left. And these two gentlemen have successfully bleed out about five minutes of game time by themselves. Lakota is still to buy that exchange somehow. Uh oh. Round 28 still safe. 28 for Ohio still safe. And still. Two. I, I'm that is correct. They gotta do a team throw. They gotta do a team throw. Not a bad team throw. That was a really good team throw by Ohio. They just missed him. They need to keep throwing the team throw in order to get this point. Trey, do it. Oh, that's too easy. That's too easy. That's too easy. Trey saw that from a mile away, and there was RJ, one of BCU's best catchers, and this is really going to change the momentum. They got to play together as a team. Ohio have to play together as a team to get this point. They have to utilize the team throws. That's not a good decision. You got to put at least two balls in number 23 at the minimum. There is less than seven minutes left in this game, and VCU has successfully bleed out eight minutes by themselves. RJ looking to throw, looking, not bad. Oh, he, man, that was not smart. One player left for BCU is Lakota. Six minutes, 20 seconds left. Not bad throw. Lakota's still in. We're looking for it. Dakota has the range and the distance. Not bad. Oh, got him. Five minutes and 59 seconds. 5.59. Oh. Huh? Oh, thank you. All right, so essentially, Ohio did a much better job in that point. Way better job. BCU did a really good job stalling uh, with Lakota and Trey. But um, Ohio was able to come through. I figured Ohio was going to make the adjustments, and they did. And that's good on them. However, there's currently 5 minutes and 59 seconds left in this game. So, there might be enough time another point but I'm not 100% sure we'll see how things play out five minutes and 59 seconds This next point can go either way. I'm expecting nothing too crazy. I'm expecting both teams to be tied up one-to-one -one at halftime. But it's also very possible for either team to take this next point. Ohio, BCU took that point in the first game and took them a long time. Ohio started off pretty strong in the second point. Um, but a lot of bleeding from BCU caused this game to be where we are right now. A 
I'm going to see if we can try to do another camera view in a second. At least try to do that for um, by halftime. We might be able to do it then. Try and get a multi-dimensional view and whatnot. It's been a really competitive game thus far. Happy to be a part of it. Happens, one player goes down. All right, so 12 and 14, respectively. Ohio and DC goes down. Both teams are at 11. All right, looks like DC is looking to push up. Not a bad reset throw. Double one goes down for DCU. All right, he's not looking. Yikes. Number six pushed all the way up. And just like that, Ohio does have. Yeah. 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 He's by himself. Oh boy, he's by himself. He is by himself. Holy cow. Two players out from BCU. One for Ohio. Ohio has a man advantage. Number six to push it all the way by himself. Couple of reset throws. Oh, he's close. Not a bad idea for Ohio. Seems like whoever's going to have the middle of the court more likely going to sign the pace of this game. Not a bad throw by Trey. DCU is trying to split Ohio's vision. Not a bad idea. Oh, he's still safe. Somehow, someway. Very athletic move. Bro, not a bad throw. Too many throws by BCU in that exchange, unfortunately. Right side of Ohio snoring. Not a bad throw. Not a bad throw by Smart at all. They're looking. Alright, not a bad reset throw. Block. Good block. Good block by both teams. So are they looking to push? Less than four minutes left in the game. Not bad reset throw. Alright, let's see what BCU is going to do. Not bad. Good reset throw by Garrett. One of the cats are saying just one ball. Oh, that is a catch! Down with number 52. And that ball will remain on Ohio pushing. Uh oh. Let's see what's going to happen. Oh. Alright, let's see. Oh! Oh, he did not see it! RJ did not see it. Definitely kind of sloppy play on BCU. Uh, time is three minutes. Omaha! Because looking to push up by himself. Out of that reset throw. Killed for good kill by Wayne Short taking out number 24 Anthony. Two minutes and 30 seconds left in this game. Uh oh! Woo! Man. Yeah. Yeah. There's two minutes and 20 seconds left in this game. Hey, 320 Thank you, 28. Much appreciated. Yeah, that was a terrible idea. A terrible idea for number 14. Terrible. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. He's still in. Alright, there's less than two minutes left in this game. Good block by Trey. Not bad. Not bad, 
Not a bad idea. Got him. That's a catch by Lakota. Like I said, nothing too crazy is going to happen. More like the both teams can go into halftime, tie up 1 1. That was the one, and that was the catch. Yikes. Yep, less than one minute left in this game. These of you just gotta just stay calm, do a few reset throws, and everything should be fine. Lakota pushing. Oh, Ohio was ready. Hey, 40 seconds, guys. 40 seconds. Nothing too crazy is happening. Bad. Not bad. Uh oh, he's looking. God, Jesus! I knew he was looking for that one. Good kill by number six, taking out Lakota. Hey, 20 seconds. You just need one more throw. Like I said, more than likely, it's going to be one on one going to halftime. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now be going to halftime with the game tied 1 1. Stop throwing! Stop throwing! Halftime. Half you need yourself a whistle. Yeah, I know. Hey, by the way, Oh, sweet. Alright, so the other game with uh, University of Maryland. Uh, but it's West Virginia. The game is also tied 1-1. One, one. Uh, so currently right now we're in halftime. Uh, I just decided just to put it on this screen real quick. Uh, not too much is going on. Both teams have been executing their game plan very well. I have to admit, both teams have been doing a great job thus far. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy by either team thus far. More likely, whoever's going to have the momentum in the second half, more likely going to win this game. We'll be returning momentarily. Um, about to give like a quick five, ten minute break.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be starting up the second half momentarily. One of our cameras went down, unfortunately. So, um, you know, we, we just gonna have to fix it, but uh, we, won't, we won't do it now, we'll do it later. We still have the main camera view there, so we're still doing pretty good. Say about two minutes. Left. Sorry about that. That's a miscut, and that's a miss for Ohio. It's okay. It's okay. And that's just a prime example of BCU just not been on the same page. Garrett was calling Ike to throw, and number one still decided to do whatever he wanted to do. Rams gotta be on the same page. Ohio's so looking to push up. Not bad. Not bad. Bad by Elu team thus far. Oh, what a catch! What a catch by number six. Now he's looking to throw. One more player down for VCU, and they will be on the tank out. Uh oh, pushing up really aggressively. They just missed. Uh oh. Oh, that's another catch by number six. And BCU's on a 10 count. BCU's on a 10 count now. And number six is just strong, BCU. That would have not counted anyway. Oh, it wasn't. Nah. It was fine. It didn't hit him. All right, looking to push up. All right, reset throw. Oh, that is a missed catch. Lakota refusing to drop his ball. And just like that, BC is down to four players. Wow, he's still safe. Still safe. Wow, but the accuracy is not there. Three players left for DC. Actually, two players left for DC. Right? That was a shot. 
And just like that. Easy point. Easy point. Easy point for Ohio. Easy. That point took less than four minutes. Less than four minutes. If VCU do not make quick adjustments right now, it can get real ugly real quick. And I mean real ugly. in the ring. Oh, 
but his catching ability has been very well, and he's not afraid to catch at all. 19 minutes and 40 seconds left in this game. Good block by RJ. Ivy looking for the throw. Here it comes. Just sail to the left. 19 minutes and 30 seconds left. BG is down by one. Ohio pretty much controlled the tempo. But the Rams have come back. But they have to play smart. They have to play together. That's a rookie mistake. Another mental error. Going for balls that is outside the range. RJ pretty much by himself. Good reset throw by Smart. Number six is creeping. Number eight, Kevin, is also creeping. 20 is also creeping. Forcing VCU to bring out the balls. Athletic jump by RJ. But, but until VCU gets some catches and some momentum, it will not matter. 18 minutes and 30 seconds left in this game. That may have hit him. RJ goes down. That may have hit him. Like I said, number six is looking to end somebody's career today. At some point, BC is going to have to step up. Less than 18 minutes left in this game. That ball will go to the Rams. Yeah, he's trying to end somebody's career. The block. Yep, that hit him. And he slammed the balls out of frustration. If he keeps doing that, that might be a yellow card or a red card. He's got to get that under control. Just like that, BC is on takedown. That hit him. Good kill by Isaac. Over the truth. Less than 17 minutes left in the game. Oh, what a changeup. What a changeup. Over the truth. Not bad. Not a bad idea. No, leave it alone. Do not touch it. Yeah, just let it. Can he get it? No. Yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. He's, he's, he's telling you. Yeah. Ref called him saying that he can get it. The ref was saying that he could get it. Yeah, but the ref said he could do it. Your captain just said he could do it. Yikes, dude. What in the world? Okay. All right, less than 16 minutes left in the game. I would advise BGU to step out, try to save time. Ball's over against BCU. Now, depending upon what the Rams can do, they might be able to take this point. They might not. If it looks like they can't, they should probably step out to save time. That'll put VCU at a 3 1 deficit. Somehow, everybody's still safe. Everyone 
wants to step out. Everyone's stepping out. Everybody's stepping out. They're stepping out. Everyone stepped out. These of you have 15 minutes and 8 seconds left. Good idea by VCU stepping off the court in that particular time. But like I said before, VCU is going to win or even come back in this game. They're going to have to play together as a team. They can't be making mental mistakes. They can't be making mental mistakes or errors. And they got to be paying attention. Everyone's got to pay attention at all times. And here we go. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. But once again, one for BCU goes down. He's gotta, he gotta stay in the game. He's gotta stay in the game. This is the deciding point. Whoever wins this point can more likely put himself in a really good situation for the rest of the game. If Ohio wins this point, it's pretty much over at that point. But if BCU can find a way to respond, it will be a very tight game to the end. So let's see how both teams go to respond. Number six is looking to line up. Ohio's doing a really good job. Not, uh oh. God! He made the catch! He made the catch! That was not a bad throw by number six. But those are the type of plays that VCU is gonna have to do in order to stay within this game. VCU is gonna be a lot better, but they gotta stay calm. They have to stay calm. Less than 14 minutes left in this game. The Rams have to stay composed. You're out. Come on, come on. Come on. Hey, Wayne. Hey, good throw, man. Let's go, baby. I felt that. Let's go, baby. And like I said, VCU has pushed. Ohio back to the back line. This is what they have to do. Not a bad throw. God, Jesus. RJ goes down that chain. The Rams have to play smart. The Rams have to play smart. Not bad. Not bad. He's looking. God! And number 55 goes down for Ohio. 52 dodges to the last minute, causing that to happen. Good pump fake by VCU. Trey is just looking for an opportunity. Not bad. Too many people though. On the left side, it is spread out of big. That's a missed catch by Garrett. That is a missed catch. Oh man. Yikes. Twelve minutes and twenty seconds left. 
VCU can still win this game. But they gotta start by getting this point. And they have to play together and they have to calm down. It seems like they are taking my advice to heart. That looks questionable. That looked very questionable. We do have a little camera. Seven minutes and 28 seconds left in this game. Oh, that got him! That got him. Alright, VCU has both man advantage and look like they might have ball advantage or not. Shot! Missed opportunity. Missed opportunity by Donald. That should have been a catch. Didn't see it coming. VCU got to put himself in that situation where they can make a catch. There's 10 minutes and 45 seconds left in this game. It's now enough to rest. Cannot be, you cannot be afraid to make a play. You cannot be afraid. If all you lose another player, they're on the ten count. Too many throws. No, not no. Me, me. Fifty-two is calling his own number. Not a bad reset throw. Wayne's hooking. Got him. And all you's on the ten count. OU is now on the 10 count, and there is 9 minutes and 58 seconds left in this game. OU has to play smart in this situation. Not bad. Wayne's looking for something. Not bad. Wayne might see it. He see it, he just miss it. But he will get the ball back. And VCU has successfully have controlled the center line. This is their chance. Nine minutes and 20 seconds left. You've got to make that catch. You're at 9-10. Oh, that. Oh, almost. Almost. Eight minutes and 53 seconds left. There's still time for the rail, but they need to score. Oh, that's an easy catch. Indeed. Indeed. That will put Ohio back to a six count. And back to 15. And they got number six back. And he's looking to do damage. That's why it's very important to play together as a team. And Ohio has done a really good job thus far. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. Eight minutes left. This is it. VCU's got to score a point within the next minute or two. This is it. This is their season. This is their time. You never saw it. No rookie mistake. Oh, what a catch by trade. What a catch by trade. And ladies and gentlemen, seven minutes and 35 seconds left. Four players left for Ohio. If you need to score a point within the next 30 seconds to have at least seven minutes. But they have to play together as a team. Here it 
comes us. This opportunity once again. Ladies and gentlemen, we have seven minutes now. Oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, wait a minute. I don't know, buddy. I don't know. I don't you know. Want to get to the I don't know, man. Oh, that is a miscatch by Trey. Oh, man. By himself. Three players left. Three players left for Ohio. Neither looking for the catch. Neither looking for it. Hold back, Ike. Set it up. That's a catch. Not a catch by number six. We're about to hit the six man mark. And time is laid out for BCU. Miss opportunity. Wow. Wow. Five minutes and 45 seconds left. Five forty left. Five forty left. Five forty left. Another one. That's a timeout. Timeout! Alright. Oh, about 528. 528. Well, you know, it is what it is. And I hate to say it, but I'm not really too surprised. I mean, because I did say in my article that Ohio did play a more rigorous schedule with Miami and Bowling Green in comparison to BCU playing against Maryland. I mean, Ohio looking like they have something to prove. It is what it is. I mean, I, I got to call a spade a spade. They, they look like they have something to prove. Like 528. Let's see how VCU is going to respond, though. Oh! That's, that's terrible. Another miscatch. Another miscatch. Four minutes and 52 seconds left. It looks like it's just not going to be enough time for TCU. He will not. He made the catch. He somehow made the catch. There's a little bit of time left for the Rams. There's a little bit of time left for the Rams. Garrett, Garrett has the temporary, may have saved the season. But I spoke too soon. Three players left for DCU. Two players left for Ohio. This season. I am looking. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to hit the 10 minute mark. I'm in the 4 minute Finish the deal. Three minutes and 28 seconds. 
Game over. Ohio wins four to one. Ohio looked like they had something to prove. And they wasn't playing no games this year. This is Ohio's second consecutive win against the Rams. From a score to four to one. VCU had opportunities to, to come back within this game, numerous opportunities, but between catches that should have been catches but wasn't, between bad decisions, which honestly should have never even happened, people reaching for balls not supposed to, uh, the Rams just didn't have it today. Score is 4-1 Ohio. Gotcha. 3-3 uh, three, three overtime. 3-3 three, three, three overtime, though. And, man, can we get a stream for that? Ladies and gentlemen, on the other hand, we do have an overtime game on the other court. I'm going to see if we can try to get that. Hunter, are they going right now? Yeah. All right, back. All right, I'm going to see if I can, I'm gonna see if we can get that. Ah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you just be patient with me. We're going to see that overtime match a real quick. Ooh. All right, let's see if we can get that overtime. So we got Maryland, West Virginia, overtime. This is really big for the Mountaineers. They're a very athletic group. Very athletic group. It didn't surprise me that these guys are capable of pushing Maryland to overtime. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the game. We got Maryland on this side. We got West Virginia on this side. Oh, oh, my man got the clean shoes. All right, now let's go. All right, H4, you going to be here, buddy? Uh, no, I'm, I'm running the sideline. He's running the sideline. All right, so what I'm going to do, we're kind of low right now, so we're going to uh, go up a little bit higher. You know, it's funny because um, the last game. <clears throat> it's funny because the last game that uh, West Virginia was in, they was in overtime, and they won. And they won against UVA. So this is this is uh, West Virginia's second overtime. Oh, my apologies. Oh, I see, like, I need to go on the other side. Yikes. We're about to flip the camera over. Just be patient. I'm the ref over here. Yeah, I'm the ref over here. All right, here we go. Let's I don't know why. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got West Virginia on this side. And we have Maryland on this side. First overtime of the day. Can't wait. Maryland been playing a much slower tempo. West Virginia plays at a very aggressive pace. And here it comes. Whoa, yikes. 88 put himself in a bad situation. Just like that, Maryland has an early man advantage. Good block. Uh-oh. Oh, missed catch. Four players left for West Virginia. Wow. Oh! Whoa, that was close. That was close. Woo, man, he threw his heart into that one. 
Four players for West Virginia, full six for Maryland. Not a bad throw. Not a bad throw. Not a bad throw by Corey. Woo! A little sauce in that one. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. So we might both team is just resetting each other. Oh, what a throw! What a throw. Corey got number eight out. Corey looking. Not bad by Corey. Five players for Maryland, four for West Virginia. Woo! Wow, Sullivan with the throw. My goodness. Oh, flip him. And number 12 is fire up, as he should. Uh-oh. Three players left for West Virginia. And Corey, the best player on the court, got to find a way just to stay in. Zach looking to throw, but his teammate threw it before him. Five looking to throw. Deep. Uh-oh, he's in trouble. Oh, God. Jeez. God, Jesus. Two players left for West Virginia, four players left for Maryland. And ladies and gentlemen, this could be West Virginia moment, but we have to see how they're going to play. Zach looking to throw. Zach looking to throw. Oh! Wait a minute. Ball's over. Does the throw count? The throw does not count. Wow, what a big moment. West Virginia with the ball advantage. Corey, one of the best players on the East Coast, and his teammate number two, Zeeler, against Maryland four players with Zach, number 14, number 12, and our man in the hoodie. Maryland ready, West Virginia ready. Here it comes. West Virginia talked about it, they're thinking about it. Let's see what they're going to do. Wow. Wow, what a great strategy. Oh, 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 that hit him. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. What an amazing strategy by West Virginia. They split my man's vision, got him when he wasn't paying attention, and then, well, he was still in, but they split his vision nevertheless. And number two did a really risky throw, but man, he came through clutch. West Virginia talked about it. Let's see what they're going to do. Woo, that clipped him. Two players left. Two players left. Moment of truth. Oh! Oh! This is sick. This is sick. This is sick. Oh, man. And Maryland with the victory. Wow. Oh my goodness. What a win. What a win for the Terrapins. Don't sleep on them. What a game though. What a game. Wow. Number 12 with the biggest catch of his career. Wow. That was a great catch, man. What a great catch. All right, so current standings right now, um, Ohio, a 4-1 victory against VCU, and Maryland with a clutch overtime win against West Virginia. What a great game. All right, we need to go back now to court one. Glory back now at the court one. Wow, what a game. What a game. That was incredible. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we're now going to our second matchup with Ohio versus Maryland. We're now going back to court number one. Yeah, I think so. But uh, yeah, what a great game between West Virginia and Maryland. Very exciting. West Virginia could have won that game. They could have. Definitely could have won it. But Maryland came through with some huge, huge clutch catches. That was definitely the difference. Maker. All right, we should be starting. Well, actually. I think in both teams might need a break. More for Maryland since they were just in an overtime game. But uh, yeah. All righty. All righty. What a game though. What a game. Actually, let's check on the schedule. See when the second game is supposed to be happening. Uh, about to pull it up. Oh, second game supposed to start at 12. Yeah, second game supposed to start at 12. But yeah, we're just waiting. Yep, just waiting patiently. If you like what you see thus far, you can follow us on Facebook at NCDA Dodgeball. If you want to follow us on Twitter. Also, once again, it's at NCDA Dodgeball. My name is Shadi Drake Ford. I'll be your main commentator today. Uh, we are live in Morgantown, West Virginia. The 14th tournament between Ohio University, Virginia Commonwealth University, University of Maryland, and the whole school, West Virginia University. We're looking to start the second game at any time. The next game will feature Ohio versus University of Maryland. These two have developed quite a rivalry between each other the past several months. So I'm very excited to see how things go.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, look like we're about to start the second game. Right, look like we're about to start the second game any minute now. Let's go ahead and get that scoreboard up real quick. Toes. 
Maryland's on the 10 count, though. That might have been too many. Oh, wow. What a shot by number six. And he get his ball back. You can't execute that anymore. Beautifully, man. My goodness. The power in the accuracy will be right there. Oh, what a catch, though. 21 get a catch. Bring back his teammate, number 11. That should put me. Oh, man. He might pay the price for that one. He's hurting though, he made that catch up. Yikes. Wiley and Adam. Merrill is still on a tank down. But if Ohio loses another player. Woo! Wow, and he's saying, you will not get this ball? My goodness. If Ohio loses another player, they too will be on a tank down. Four players left for Maryland. Wow. Number 21's doing a really good job gauging how his points were going to flow. Keep himself in his game. Uh-oh. Wow, that's a missed catch. Oh, that was ground. He's going on the ground. Oh, that clipped him. 21 goes down. Three players left. Three players left for Maryland. Two plays left. Two plays left in there. There's roughly 15 minutes and 10 seconds left. Ball's over against Maryland. Roughly 15 minutes left. 15 minutes! Player left. Uh oh. All right. Woo! Oh! oh man, she on the attack. Man. All right, first move go to Ohio. What a good game. What a good game. Oh, 
Nice catch by number 15. That definitely stung. They had a full lineup, but 21, 27, unfortunately, step over the line. As a result, oh man, tell man, he never saw it. Wow, never saw it, dog. Almost clipped him. Yep, it did clip him. Down goes another Marin player. I'm impressive. I like it. I like it. My I would respect that. 12 minutes and 46 seconds left in this, in this half. Cross. Yeah, get up. Move up. Good reset throw. Oh, that was close. That was a catch and five knew it. He just wasn't ready for it. Woo, what a throw. Number five accuracy of Ohio is something to inspire to. My goodness. Wow. He's not, listen, number five of Ohio, he's not missing by much. If he's missing, it's like centimeters, man. His accuracy, my goodness. Safe, but that was close. That will not work. That will go. Woo! Man, that was close. Good play by number 11, taking out 32. Good play, 11 minutes and 10 seconds left in this game. That work. Oh! That was close. Oh, man, nope, he didn't get there in time. Number five goes down. He did not get there in time. Oh, that is a drop catch by number eight. 29 with the kill. And just like that. Here it comes. Oh, whoa, oh, man, this catch. Well executed throw by number 55, Smart. Yikes. Yikes. Wow. I mean, that was funny, man. That was on the takeout. executed team throw by Ohio. Their team throw has been on point. Okay. Wow, another team throw. Another team throw. Too far. Yikes. Wow, he's still in. No, that last one was out. He just, he, he's not hurt. He's just upset. Uh, 903.
Good effort by Maryland, but you know, better, better point by Ohio. Seven minutes and 55 seconds left in this first half. Kind of anti-climatic, but that's okay. Wow! Spoke too soon. Missed catch by Maryland. Oh boy, here it comes. Ohio transition game has been stellar the past two games. Against Beijing and now against, against uh, Maryland. They pretty much make control of the tempo. Wow, what a shot. That's a catch though. Hey, count he's in. He's, he's, in. he's in. He's in. He's in. He took a shot though. Team catch. My goodness. Great team catch by Sullivan. What a huge catch! Wow! Wow! We got that on camera too. My goodness. This is the type of this is the type of confidence that Mel got to play the. Oh! Oh! She did it! She did it! That's another catch for Maryland. Wow! Maryland's confidence is. Wow. She's coming up to support her teammate. Wow, she's still in. And they get two balls for that change. Really good job by Maryland. We're roughly around six minutes now. Six minutes left in this point. Bad Maryland will get that ball back. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Oh, yes! That's another catch for Maryland. 21 with a big catch. Take it out, number one. Maryland's pushing up, and their confidence will continue to grow. 
that. Oh, oh, man. They were knocking out. Oh, that's another player down. Oh, that's another player down. Oh, man. Wow. Good sportsmanship by both teams, though. Wow. Number six zones got hit. 5-11. We have 5-11. 5-11. Oh, wait. Number six is hit. He was out. Wow. He might. Yeah, wow. Oh, my goodness. Maryland, known as a very conservative team, definitely played way more aggressive. And as a result, they even get several players out. Several players out for Ohio. While still keeping their core intact. It's roughly five minutes and 11 seconds left in this game. If Maryland scores a point, and the game is four minutes or less, that time will be well over to the second half. Make those catches. You gotta make those catches. Not a bad exchange. Not a bad exchange. Four minutes and 35 seconds left. Oh, wow. You gotta be paying attention. You gotta be paying attention. He knows. He knows. Two. Wow. Missing the state by Maryland. Four minutes, four minutes and five seconds left in this game. Wow, flip him. My goodness. Good kill by number five. But, Mer but Ohio should be on a 10 count now. They have exactly five players left. A catch will put them back at six and add a full 15. The time is 3.15. 3.15 left in this game. Maryland still has the man advantage. Five players left for Ohio. Two minutes and 52 seconds left. Number 33 calls on number. Woo! Back, back! And just like that, the game is simple. Ohio's calling the clock. Yikes. Where is the catch, though? Uh oh. Two minutes and 23, uh, two minutes and 25 seconds, 20 seconds. Over the truth. Oh, that was close. Come on. That was close. Here it comes. That's a trade. Both players go out. Five and number 33. Two players left. Two players left. No, three players left for Ohio. There's one minute and 50 seconds left in this game. One minute and 50 seconds left. 
Mellon's got to push up. A minute 40. A minute 40 left in this game. A minute 40. Moment of truth. Two fakes. Oh, yikes. A minute 30 left in the game. A minute 30 left in the game. Here it comes. Woo! Minute 20. Minute 20 left in the game. Minute 20 left in this game. Maryland's got to figure out something. They need to do it quick. Woo! That was close. Minute 10. Minute 10 left. Minute 10. Minute 10. Moment of truth. Nothing. One minute remains. One minute remains. They're trying desperately. Trying desperately. Miss. 50 seconds left. 50 seconds left. My goodness. Two plays left. Three plays left. My problem. 40 seconds left. 40 seconds left. Maryland got to get this point. Thirty seconds left. That's a catch. Oh, what the oh, man? That's a team catch. That would not work. That would not work. Fifteen seconds left. Fifteen seconds left. Ten. Oh, that hit him. One play left. Time out, call. Exactly. Ten seconds left. Ten seconds left. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, only ten seconds remains. Only ten seconds left. Ohio with one play. Maryland got more than six. If Maryland gets this, the game will be two to one. No problem. All right, let's go. Let's next. Ohio, ready. Maryland, ready. All right, 10, 8, 7, 6. Nope. Oh! And just like that, Maryland has come back. With two seconds left, two seconds to get to only be down by one. Oh my goodness! Two seconds left. Wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. Whoo, man. That was big. That was big. That was big. We are going to halftime.
Uh, yeah, let's uh, went out in the second half. All right, second half, we're about to get started. Wow. Maryland came through, man. Two seconds left. Number eight with a terrific suicide throw that should be on camera. Incredible. Here we go. All right, nothing happens. Maryland has, I think Maryland has ball. Oh, man. Out of that throw by Summer. Good block for number eight. Maryland pushing up. Zach with the throw. Oh, clip tail. Woo, that clip tail too. Oh my lord. And down goes another Ohio player. Just like that, Ohio lost three players in that show. Good job by Mel getting that ball back. They play that beautifully. Maryland could have not played that any perfectly. They got more balls, more ammunition. Oh, that's a catch! Good reset throw. Good job. He's still safe. He is still safe. Great court awareness by Maryland. Great court awareness. Oh! He made the catch. Great job with number 15. Ohio notifies us down that exchange. Number six. Woo! Yeah. He just letting you know he still got that on. Keep that, keep that on nice and low. Oh, what a shot. Goodness. Huh? Yeah, yeah you can put it on the baseline. Yeah, that's yours. Uh-oh, number six. He might be injured. That's not gonna be good. Yikes. He might he might have rolled his ankle. Number 12 being very honest. Number 12 got hit on the shoulder. Breaking news, it seemed like number six. I'm gonna try my best not to put the camera on him. But it looks like he's oh, what a catch! What a catch by Maryland. Unfortunately, number six is hurt. And he's more likely not going to play the rest of this game. What a shot! Two kills! Two kills for Maryland on that exchange. They could have not executed that any purpose. Whoa! And somehow my camera still survived. We was right here. We were so close to being destroyed. This is, I got you, I got you. Woo! Woo! Yeah, 
Both throws reset. Cancel out. Number six is going to try to block this off somehow. He knows he needs to be back in the game. Somehow the camera still supports. Oh, what a missed catch. Brett Bassett catches it. Boom. Ooh, that was close. Oh, that was a hit. Hit him by the inches. By the inches. Three players left for Ohio. My goodness. Another hit for Maryland. Two players left. What a collide. Collided in the air. Oh, man, I was close. It's ground. He's safe. Nothing bad happened. And more of an ear time. Woo! Wow, what a kill shot. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. So safe. Here it comes, ladies and gentlemen. Two throw, two throw. Not a bad throw. Guys, not alone. Two balls, two balls. Two throw, two throw. Very well. Very well. They're looking for it. Got it. Let's go. Maryland with another point. And like I said in my article, very selfishly, very selfishly, I want an overtime between these two teams. That is very selfish of me, but I want it. But we have to see how the rest of this game is going to play out. My number six is going to be in the game. He's he's hurting. I think he rolled his ankle. Some of his power will be compromised as well as his lateral movement. But but he's a game. No, he was. Um, as an individual who's dealt with numerous of ankle injuries over the years, I can tell you that it's difficult. Yikes. I think blood, blood, yep. Injured player from Maryland, he's bleeding. Now, get him off this court, onto the other court. Yeah, like he needs to go to, the, nah, dude, like get. Get to the second court. Get him off. Get him off this court. I know, there's, I know he's delirious to get him off the court. Yikes. Stop it to play for the time being. Alrighty. Quality content. Indeed, thank you. <laughs> That's all, man. He's just being silly again, as always. Uh, actually. Of course, that's out of my reach. Did any good shots to me yet? Uh, I think you made a couple of catches, actually. So I think we got that. Did you get any of the, uh, that was versus West Virginia before overtime? Right? I went off that day. Just, just overtime. I think I know Alright, 
right, so we have blood on the court. They're trying to get that clean up. So that's what's going on with that. be a possibility that I might have to stop the stream um, <laughs> in a sec um, after this game just to kind of get some storage because I don't need this camera freezing up on me so just be just be patient with me I'm going I'm going to get it straight hopefully everyone can enjoy the content thus far So, yeah. 